Hey now, what's up guys? I'm here to talk about top five, my top five, favorite Batman comic book villains. We're getting away from the movies and we're sticking more towards the comic books. Maybe some other things as well. Batman the Animated Series, the Arkham games, some of everything. Starting at number five is the Riddler, who was on my movies list. But the Riddler, I've always liked the other aspect of him, maybe slightly more, just in the sense that here's this guy who, okay, you could say he's obsessed with riddles. Sure, you could say he's more obsessed with showing and proving how much smarter he is than the people of Gotham, than Batman, and a lot of times that proves to be his downfall. But that's what I like about the character. I like that it's not as much robbing a bank or killing people. It's not like he, that's his end goal. That's a bunch of other villains' end goal. No, he, he wants to show that he's smarter than Batman. I really like his characterization in Batman the Animated Series, that first episode where he gets fired from his job and he's vengeful against his boss and puts him in that maze, all of that I liked. But I also love him in the Arkham games because all of the traps that he has set up in Arkham and the trophies, that's a Riddler that I would love more than anything to see in a movie one day. Number four, Bane. And sure, you could say that at the end of the day, Bane is just a gimmick or is just something, a villain that was created to be Batman's physical match. But I like the Bane that's intelligent and that was able to figure out who Bruce Wayne was, who Batman was, broke into the Batcave and broke his back. I know that's how everybody knows Bane he broke Batman's back. But a lot went into that. Seeing a villain be the reason why Batman had to stop being Batman for five years. And it's one of the only times, I guess besides more recently, when somebody else had to step in and be Batman for him. It made it that much more fulfilling and satisfying when Batman does eventually come back to fight Bane. Everything that goes into Nightfall or No Man's Land when Bane actually closes all the bridges and holds Gotham for ransom. A lot of that that they thankfully put in The Dark Knight Rises. Hell, even that Bane too I like. The intelligent, I love the accent. The venom that makes him get bigger and bigger. I always wanted to see a more serious representation of that. More serious, Joe Schumacher. More serious. Number three, Two-Face. And I guess a lot of the reasons why I, I have Two-Face on this list is the same from my Aaron Eckhart pick from my other list, where Harvey Dent himself is just such a tragic character. Seeing any character who started off good and seeing what happened to him and why he ended up going bad, it wasn't just a switch. It wasn't just something that felt contrived and forced. It, almost every version of Two-Face I guess, besides Tom Lee Jones. It always felt like a natural progression. It always felt like something to where you understood how the character ended up this way. Number two, speaking of that, Ra's al Ghul. Some people would have Ra's al Ghul as the best Batman villain of all time, and I can understand that because here's a guy who, if you go with some stories, he trained Batman in the League of Assassins, and he taught Batman everything that he knows. He does want to save the world. He does want to save Gotham. It's his means. It's the way that he gets to what he wants to do, to his goal. It's what's too much. He's willing to wipe out Gotham, either with a bomb or just having people kill each other. He's willing to kill millions to save billions. And you could say he's right. You could say that his plan would work. But I've always thought it was too far. It was, it was something that, you know, I appreciated his goal, but I, I always thought he, that's what separated him and Batman. This isn't much of a surprise, I'm sure. My number one favorite Batman comic book villain is the Joker. Once again, even in comic book form, I still think the Joker 
is the best. And if we're just sticking with comics, I love watching, sure you could talk about The Killing Joke or The Man Who Laughs, but I always looked at the Joker and thought, not only does he want to drive Batman to kill, that's almost everything that he's, that he's doing is for that, but there was one story that always creeped me out where Batman and the Joker were fighting. And Batman, of course, stops himself from killing the Joker. He's this close from doing it. And the Joker snaps his own neck, kills himself, just to make the cops think that Batman killed the Joker. Because I've always seen the Joker laugh when he thinks he's about to die at Batman's hands, but Batman always saves him. To see that the Joker is so desperate to win that he kills himself, the stage like it's a Batman murder, that always stuck with me and creeped me out about him. With Harley Quinn, I've always loved their relationship as well. It shows him lying and manipulating people to get what he wants and him being abusive towards her. It was just another extra layer to make the Joker interesting. So, the Joker in so many ways is my favorite Batman villain. Who is your favorite comic book Batman villain? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!